a lot of you know, I tried that Monet skincare and um, you saw my video. It did not really work that well. Like it controlled the oil, but like my skin felt super, super dry. And I don't know if it was probably because I had the wrong line or I should have been using different combinations of products, but I actually was like, you know what? I don't know. Like I'm just going to go back to my normal skincare. And then I broke out. You can't really see. Well, you kind of can. It's all around here. But I think right now, because it's that time of the month, it's probably hormonal. And so it's like right around, it's like right around my jaw. And I'm guessing it's probably hormonal. It's like right here. Like it's up against here, here, and like around right here. And then for me too, like you can see I have these acne scars. So I decided, my friend um, Allie actually started, um, selling Rodan and Fields, and I had used Rodan and Fields, I, I know Rodan and Fields because I used to use Proactive, and I actually, I wish I would have taken before pictures, I didn't because I think, well one, the only kind of cameras we had when I was like using Proactive at like 13, 14, 15, whatever, um, we didn't have like cell phones or we took selfies, like, yeah, um, but I had a huge cluster right here. Of, I always had a huge cluster right here of zits and I definitely got control but you can tell I've had some residual scarring around like all of my face so we signed I signed up I'm really excited I'm nervous though because I did talk to her and was I was like well I occasionally have those flare-ups what do you recommend and so um, she just said like we're gonna figure it out too she said I might have to add in like some of the unblemished line just in case so um, I actually when I signed up like I kind of went all in because I'm that person I just go all in on stuff um, I decided to sign up as a preferred customer I'm not I don't know if I'm gonna sign up as a consultant but as anything I really wanted to try the products so when I first signed up I got I went with the reverse line which the reverse this is the reverse brightening and it comes with four different products so this is the reverse line it comes with a deep exfoliating wash the the brightening intensive brightening toner and then it and it also comes with these this is like a number three in the lightning it has one number three and then with the brightening it has two so this one is the vitamin C formula and this one is the retinol formula so you put them like pea size amount into your hands separately obviously in their separate tubes and you mix them together and you put them on your face um, and then step four which is what I would do in the morning is the broad spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen um, I'm really excited because also with came with it was this little getting started chart where you can actually like uh, the reason why there's certain ones X off and other ones marked is because it says day one start in the day I decided to start at night because I am very impatient and want to try my products so um, I got that as well and then along with that because with this kit I signed up I got the amped MD roller this is like a micro needle thing I already have it out of the box um, but this is what it looks like it has like really many micro needles one day I'll go in and I'll take a picture it comes in this little cute box and it's a micro like micro needle roller and then after I would do this treatment so I would do my wash my toner and then I would do this followed by one of these little capsules which this is the redefined intensive intensive renewing serum um, I actually I was reading the directions on this because it came obviously with my kit and it actually recommended that I once I start using the brightening the reverse system twice a day so morning and night not just night that's when I can start incorporating this guy into my system and I think that is totally smart um, but also with that so I got those things in my introductory kit I decided to add in because I still get those blemishes which I'm 30 and I, my skin still sometimes acts like it's a teenager. So I also got the Rodan Fields Clarifying Mask, which I'm really excited to try this guy. I love masks. <laughs> um, as a lot of you, like, if you watch, if you follow my Instagram, you know I love doing masks. A lot of the time I've made the mistake with peel masks and peeled off some of my eyebrow, but you know, girl, 
stuff happens. Um, and then the other thing I got was these gauze pads because they recommend that with the toners that you use a gauze pad because it doesn't completely absorb everything. So um, it's gonna all, like all the product is gonna get onto your skin because if you have a cotton pad, if many of you notice, you always end up putting a lot more toner when you use a cotton pad because they soak it up because it's cotton. So let's get started with the wash. Oh, also, I bought these guys. These, I actually bought these a long time ago. I bought these when I first got my house because I really wanted to have nice um, face, like, you know, face washcloths for whenever I have guests over, like when my dad visits or if I have a, you know, a pet sitter or a house sitter staying over, I want them to have something they can wash their face with and it feels super comfy. And it actually says, ultra soft, ideal for sensitive skin, which I feel like, um, because this, I've used this scrub, this exfoliating wash before. I actually tried it in my friend Allie's house and it, my skin felt amazing. I am not gonna lie, it actually felt really good. Um, I was shocked. I was like, I'm not putting a lot into this because I don't know. And I tried it and I was like, I was like, Allie, I'm going to buy. Like I, cause I use facial oils a lot. And so my skin felt as soft as it does after I would do like a little like face scrub and then like the oil on top. That's how soft my skin felt without the oiliness. And that's really saying something cause that's hard to find. Um, because that's what happened with like the, um, uh, the Monate um, skincare is that my skin looked slightly like dewy and soft, but when you felt it, it was dry a dry AF. It was so dry. So we're gonna do that, and I'm gonna see. Oh, there it is. Okay, I know I no, that's not. <laughs> Thought I had an extra washcloth around. I don't. Well, I meant like you know one that is not in the package. So I'll pull this guy out, and they are so soft. And that's why I got these and like, cause I got them for, you know, like I said, visitors, but I was like, well, it's perfect because I don't like splashing water on my face. And these are like the perfect soft washcloths for this guy. So let's get started. Okay, and then I'm going to follow it after I wash and dry. I'm going to follow it with my unblemished um, mask. I'm really excited because I can't wait to see how they work together. And she recommended, um, the person that signed up, Allie, I think her name is Summer, she recommended when I was trying this out, she's like, when you put it on your skin, don't, don't like rub it like scrubbing. Like you want to, ju you're just moving your hands around to move around the product. And I was like, okay. Because I mean, if any of you have ever used like this, like scrubbing your face away, at least it felt like it. Sorry, you're hearing all these sounds because I'm totally unorganized on this side. So, here we go. Ooh, a little too hot. Get my face wet. Oh, my skin feels brown. So, I think that's all that she gave me. I don't remember. And then I just, because I can already feel a little granules. I'm not going to waste water. And then you just move around the product. So, you're not even putting pressure. Sorry, I'm watching myself in the mirror. I'm not even like putting pressure on it because you don't really want to like scrub your skin. Oh, and oh, it smells really good. I'm, I really, I'm a smell person too. So if it smells kind of like either, oops, too hard, too strong or like, like too floral, I'm like, I can't do it. But if it's just this lovely, I'm trying to think it's like a vitamin C it's like like a creamsicle smell that sounds so weird to say creamsicle smell so yeah so I just wash and then I take it down my neck a little bit dang it I shouldn't have gone over my acne and then rinse that off on my hand and I take my washcloth And then take off with this. Let's see. Oh, that feels really good to take that off with that. It doesn't feel bad at all. Very soft. Not like... I mean, I do have a washcloth that I use that I actually... Um, 
kind of exfoliate with because it's like a not as soft washcloth and it's it's good but obviously for this guy it's like you don't want that because yeah because I don't want to like touch my skin too much because that also spreads around the acne so one more time going over my skin with that washcloth just to make sure all the product is off And it feels super, see I'm trying to not touch my skin, but it's hard because it feels super soft. So yeah, I just kind of rinse off that washcloth again because I will be using it later. Dry off that. And then I just pat dry. I'm, I am that person that I tend to go like, but you want to pat dry. And then I'm going to put on this clarifying mask. Let's see. Massage onto clean, dry skin. Leave on for 5 to 10 minutes. So it looks like y'all are going to have to wait until... Ooh. See, I like when it has caps like this. Some of the other... Whew, that definitely does smell. It def Okay, this is, the, this is from the Unblemish line, so obviously it has a little... You know, a little bit more probably acne fighter ingredients in it let's actually you know what let's take a peek I'm pretty sure it has sulfur it smells like it has sulfur in it maybe active ingredients sulfur 10 percent I knew it I was like okay so it says to massage onto the skin so I'm used to putting on masks with um this little guy I actually found this at Ulta. It's like a mask applier, but I'm guessing it's probably more for peels because this guy says to massage, so I'm like, okay. So let's put this guy on. I don't remember how much of it. They didn't really go over it with me. Woo, look at that, okay. So I'm massaging it onto my dry skin. This feels actually really good. Putting it over my lip, obviously. My forehead is actually, like, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna lie, like, normally my forehead is where I would be getting, where I used to get all my acne. But it's not as bad anymore. Which I really enjoy. <laughs> because it was rough for a while. Like, I would have acne all over my forehead. Alrighty. Let's pop the lid back on that mat and I'll see you in five to ten minutes. Alright, so it's been ten minutes. This feels dry. Very dry on my face. So I'm gonna rinse this off with some warm water on my lovely fancy washcloth. It honestly, it does obviously, it's 10% sulfur, so it obviously smells like sulfur. Um, so if you don't like that scent, well, if you're using the unblemished line or if you got acne, you gotta suck it up because honestly, like acne is really good at killing, getting that. Um, sorry, sulfur is really good at getting all that acne gone. So, at least working on. Whew, that smells so weird. Not my favorite smell in the world at all. Look, it's turning that purple. Okay. So my thing that I like to do is I go one more time with warm water over my face, just to make sure I get every little last bit of that mask off. Yep. And I did. I just don't want any of that residual mask on there when I finish up with my products. So, with any sulfur based um, products, I have noticed that there is that re residual smell of sulfur. Um, and it's because I believe that it's like all that goodness. Even though it smells gross, it's all that goodness soaking in. It feels, actually feels pretty good. Um, and I'm trying to remember how she showed me how to use this. 
I honestly don't remember. Which I mean, you know, you you would think you do any. I just don't want to like dump out a lot. Like honestly, I'm always nervous for how much to use. Okay, I'm just using this much. If you are a Rodan and Fields consultant, you can let me know if I just use way too much. And then you just wipe it over your skin. I feel like you would any other toner. This smells so good. And like I said, I'm using this at night instead of, because it says like use, like to start, you do like two, so pretty much I'll use it tonight, take tomorrow off using it, and then use it again on Friday night. And then take Friday off, I mean, Saturday off, and then do it Sunday night. Um, and then, you know, it's like every other night. It normally was every other day. And so I'll do that every other day, every other night. And then the next, um, the next week I'll do, I'm letting this dry, sorry. Next week I'll do every night. And then the third week I'll do... Um, morning, like, so for day, for like the first day of that week, I'll do morning and night. Then the next day I'll just do nighttime. And then the next day I'll do morning and night. And then, the, you know, kind of like that. And then by week four, so like the last week of the month, I will be doing, um, every day. So, um, which I'm actually going to meet up with Allie this weekend. There's like a brunch thing for the Rodan and Fields, like get together and, I'm actually going to discuss if I need to um, maybe also get like, even if it's just like the unblemished face wash or even the regime, which re regime, which is going to be good to have. I feel like, especially if I still get those adult acne, adult acne flare ups, especially around like my period and hormonal. So yeah, so the toner is dry. And so now I will go in with the vitamin C formula and the retinol formula. So I'll show you how she showed me how to do this. So you do like that much of that and then that much of that and then you mix them together I just rub it on my face. Um, there is not a, a PM lotion for this. This is like step three of your nighttime routine. If you just do like um, the normal regimen. Obviously I threw in the mask tonight just to like see how things go. Because I really was interested in trying the mask. Oh, I forgot I had that on my nose. So yeah, that is my last step. I honestly am really excited to see how this goes. I'm giving myself the full 60 days um, to do this because, I mean, you're not going to see results within like two days. Obviously, if you're building your skin up to using this product, like... You're not going to see your results in four days. Um, some people see it in like six weeks, in like a couple weeks. Awesome. Um, I do not know what to expect. I'm just hoping I don't wake up with a huge red face tomorrow morning. <laughs> Please. But no, so I will go with tomorrow. I will probably go back to my normal face wash routine, um, which is just um, face wash, uh, a toner, and then either a facial oil or I've been... Or I have been doing, um, let's see if I can find it, this lemongrass one. Um, it's for, it has tea tree and citrus and is for oily or acne prone skin. So I use this with a face wash and I do a toner um, in the morning. So I'll do that. And yeah, so that is my first day, first day one of using my Rodan Fields. Um, I'll, I'm really excited to see how it feels in the morning. That sulfur smell is still there. <laughs> I'm going to deal with it because, you know, that's just life, especially when you're trying to clear that acne. Um, so, no, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to try all these products. I know that, like, Rodan and Fields is pricey. Like, I spent 
a good chunk of change on this stuff. But, like, the stuff that I bought, the Monate, the Monate stuff, was, like, if you bought it retail, it, well, well, I got, with 35% off, I spent 180 like, about 175 180 on it. And I just was, like, okay. And, like, it still didn't really work for my skin, but Rodan Fields has so many different, like, kits you can choose from. Um, so it's really interesting to see. Um, how it works for me. I'm honestly ready to get to week four so I can start with this guy because I know that like my forehead, my cheeks could really use it. Like, I I mean, it says I, I have to wait and I'm like, I, I want to add it in so bad. But I'm gonna, like, I'm trying to be good and actually follow what it recommends on here because I'd rather follow the directions correctly and have it work very well for me then like start early and somehow screw it up. So, um, I will also include like my before pictures in here and it's the pretty obviously front, right side, left side. So I'm really excited to try this. I'm excited to let you know how it goes and just document on here. And obviously every time I do an update video, um, I'll try to do one at the beginning of each week. So then we can kind of see if it's changed at all. I'm going to try to do like, even though I said you can't really see results in four days, which is this first week, um, I still really want to take progress pictures to be like, okay, has it even changed? Or does it look like it's doing something kind of thing, you know? Um, anyways, I'm going to head out. I'm going to go to bed. Well, actually, I'm going to do some homework and then go to bed and then go to work because tomorrow's Thursday. Um, we have two more days of work. I'm ready. It's been a crazy week so far. It feels like these kids have gotten a little crazy, um, but we did have a four-day weekend previously, so I think they're all just reeling from that. So I don't blame them. I feel bad because I can't even imagine coming back after those days off and then being like, oh, wait, I have to do schoolwork again? What the hell? So I'm going to go. I can't wait to keep trying these amazing products. Um, I say amazing because I have used Rodan Fields like they're proactive in the past and it did help my acne. Um, so I say amazing because like it's like these doctors are like putting their life's work into these products. Um, so yeah. Anyways, have a great night, you guys. Thanks for watching.